So I made a small map, it takes about 10 minutes to play. If you want to play it, just make sure you set your brightness to bright and field of view to normal and turn on sounds. Also, don't use F5. If you want to play it, there's a download link in the description and I suggest you stop watching this video then because I will spoil a lot. Let me show you what this map is about first. It's sort of a remake of the game Where Am I, a game by the creator of Slender. If you want to play that game, there's a link in the description for that as well. In this game, you walk in a bunch of rooms and sometimes when you look away from one of these openings in the wall, they disappear. And in the end of the game, well, you'll just have to play the map to see what happens. Here's how it works. When you press F3, you can see the rotation over here. This is the Y value and this is the X value. So let's say we want to teleport the player from this room to this room but only when he's not looking at the door. When you look in this direction, you'll see your Y rotation is zero, and when you look in this direction, it's 90. So we want to select the player only when his Y rotation is somewhere between zero and 90. To do that, we'll use the RYM and RY selectors. RYM stands for rotation, Y minimum, and RY is the maximum. So we'll make a test for a command and set RYM to 0 and RY to 90. And you'll see this comparator turns on only when we're looking in this direction. Now let's add a few more selectors, because we only want to select the player when he's standing on these blocks. Because when the player is standing on this block, for example, he can still see the door even when he's looking in the right direction. So we'll add a few selectors. For that we'll look at the crosshair and then we'll see that these three lines all come together in one point. So that means this is the first coordinate we want to use. So basically the coordinates you want to use first are the ones these three lines are pointing to. Then we'll enter the coordinates of the second point, which is this block. Except these coordinates are relative to the other coordinate, so that will be dx is 1, dy is 1, and dz is 1, or dz, however you want to call it. I really don't give a shit. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, uh, and that's how you select a player in a cubic area. There's one last selector, and that's the x rotation, because when you stand over here and look down, you can see the door as well, so we'll add RxM is minus 90 and Rx is 30. But now we're just using test 4, so let's turn that in a TP command real quick. And there you go! Now do that a bunch of times and create a bunch of different rooms, and you just made a map! See? It's not that hard really. Okay, wait, what? That oh, that's a bug. Okay, that is a bu that is not supposed to happen. That's a w wait. Stop it! No, stop! What's going on? Stop!